morning and welcome to a bit of a different style of video today. You can't actually see me because it is very dark. It's only about quarter past five. I am currently in the Peak District heading up towards the Great Ridge and near Mamtor. And Derek is with me today. I'm turning the camera around and he is waving, you just can't see him. <laughs> but we are heading out to do a little bit of photography this morning. And I thought I'd do a bit of a vlog style video today. Something a little bit different for you. But I'll speak to you more when it's lighter. We have just managed to make it for sunrise, which should be able to see it behind me here. I will focus in a little bit more. something utterly magical about coming out and watching the sunrise. I mean look, <laughs> that sky behind me is just absolutely amazing. Um, it's so strange coming out and doing one of these vlogs because I think when I was hiking the PCT every day was kind of new and I never had any script, never had any plans of what I was going to say. It was just a matter of getting up each day and coming out filming what I wanted to film, talk about what I want to talk and I think since I've come home over the last year or two, gosh nearly two years, all my videos have been planned where I go to certain places and I'll always do my research beforehand and tell you what I can about somewhere whether it's the history of a place, um, the details of landmarks, how high everything is and I've kind of got away a little bit from just talking to you rather than, I don't know, it's, it's something I've not done for a long time and I think maybe perhaps I should start doing this a little bit more, just sharing my thoughts and feelings in videos and doing more vlog style things rather than films because I'm a little bit of a perfectionist and Derek's actually always telling me that I plan every video too much and I learn my stuff a lot and although it's really good and it's probably really beneficial to hear all this extra information he says to me sometimes well why don't you just be yourself and just go out with your camera and have fun and I think sometimes I forget that I think I'm that busy trying to make everybody happy and tell you everything and fill the video with as much information as possible that I kind of lose my enjoyment for actually hiking and coming out and doing things like this so that's why I've decided to bring the camera out today, you know, <laughs> I look really tired. Um, there's no real plan, it was just a matter of getting up, the alarm went off at 10 to 4 this morning and it was a matter of making coffee, getting in the car, getting here to shoot this epic sunrise. I mean, it is so incredible, there's Mamtor and Loose Hill and the sunrise just came up in between them and it was just one of those last minute things. It was checking the weather last night, making sure that there was going to be at least a bit of sun and it wasn't complete cloud. And just to have a bit of fun. And you can see Derek's up there taking pictures. That's where we've been standing on the hill. <laughs> but yeah, just it's just so nice. I mean, when the alarm goes off in the morning, sometimes you think to yourself, oh, really, do I, do I really want to do this? But then you have your little kind of frowny face and decide whether or not to get up and then you think yeah yeah it's, it'll be worth it I'll regret it later and the drive here was lovely 
and then walking up here, I mean, how many people walk for a good 45 minutes at half past five in the morning just to get a view? But it is certainly worth coming outside and just being in nature and taking some pictures. I mean, the thing is, I've taken some pictures and some video footage, but just standing there and watching it, and I keep looking in the viewfinder now because I can see it changing again behind me. But it's just being outside and appreciating little things rather than doing your typical nine to five things during the day. I mean, who doesn't want to sit on a mountain in the cold, <laughs> in the wind, at silly o'clock in the morning on a weekend? But I think sometimes the good thing is that knowing that when you can get home, you have your hot cup of coffee and you relax on the sofa and you feel like you've earned it then. But I'm going to stop babbling because I think there's some more pictures in me yet. I can see that gorgeous sun over the ridge there, the Great Ridge. It looks absolutely incredible. So I'm going to stop babbling and take some more photographs. This is the thing about coming out in the hills <laughs> one minute you've got glorious sunshine and then the next minute it's just turning in to a little bit of a cloud <laughs> all around it's just gone really misty all of a sudden as well it's literally just come over us um yeah it's quite interesting it's it's a little bit windy and a little bit cold today but it's certainly been worth it to be able to come out and see the sunrise this morning it was wonderful but yeah so much for photography now i think it might be one of those mornings where it's like okay well we had a good little run of it first thing but it is kind of nice it's very atmospheric i'm walking along quite a boggy bit at the moment and this is <laughs> this is what we're faced with I certainly didn't think I'd have to be wearing gloves, a hat and a puffy at the end of August, but hey, that's British summertime for you. I'm just getting distracted by all these little spider webs with all the dew on them. They look really interesting. I'll show you a little close up.
I'm currently crouched down in the dirt because I've come across these tiny little flowers over here. See where it is there. These ones here, just I was looking at the heather and then saw these little flowers. And now I'm just crouched down with my camera trying to take photographs of them. But there's something amazing about being outdoors like this and relaxed, not worrying about where you're heading, how long it's going to take. And you can have these massive great views, which we had wonderful views of the sunrise um, across Russia Hedge, the Great Ridge, Mamtor, and you've got that wide expanse of landscape that's absolutely gorgeous. But then within 20 minutes, half an hour, you're on the floor in the dirt taking pictures of the tiniest little flowers. And I, th I think I just appreciate everything, whether it's big or small. And I just love times like this on a morning where there's just no plan and it's nice you know not every walk that I do is filled with big hills or perfect views of things sometimes it's just little strolls in certain areas just to capture something small or just to go explore in different weather and that's what I like about being outdoors and sometimes I think I don't always show this on camera because I think maybe people won't find it as interesting or maybe it's not as epic as it should be to watch back but I don't know this is me this is I just like doing stuff like this and this is the side of me I probably don't always show is just the little things that just coming out and doing these things I don't know it just makes me feel really happy and content and at peace rather than staying at home and not really doing anything and wasting a day just being out and having fun and getting dirty knees, rosy cheeks, fluffy hair and muddy feet. <laughs> it's just it's just part of my life. I think if I go more than a day at home without getting outside, I do start going a little bit stir crazy. So I have this thing where I go out hiking midweek usually, at least a longish hike. Um, but yeah, I think two days is my maximum at home. I'd have to have a little stroll at some point though <laughs> in those two days. But yeah, mornings like this are lovely. And there's a huge air shaft behind me over here. I think you can see it there. And we've walked along here a couple of times and never explored it really. So we thought, right, we're just gonna walk up and see if we can get to it and see what it looks like and why it's there. There's obviously tunnels that go underneath all this land here between Edale and Hope, I think it is. So yes, yeah, so I'm gonna carry on taking pictures of my little yellow flowers. Not sure they'll turn out very well, but yeah, they look really pretty with all the heather. The heather's still in bloom. It's the last weekend in August at the moment, so it's in its perfect stage. certainly been a different style of video today hasn't it I haven't really done anything like this before I don't think where I've just not planned anything or learnt anything I've just literally brought you along with me to spend a few hours with me while I was out taking some photographs of the sunrise and just spending a bit of a morning in nature I hope you've enjoyed this video and if you have let me know in the comments below obviously vlogging like this is a little bit different for me so if you do want me to do more things like this then I would be happy to do so let me know what you want to see more of I can do things out for walks I can do things at home my ordinary life if you want to see a little bit more of that kind of thing I don't know what's going to be interesting to people but I hope you've enjoyed the video I hope this video finds you all well healthy and happy and that you will manage to get some time outdoors yourselves in nature because it really is the best therapy <laughs> but until the next video goodbye